Good morning, campground and RV park owners, operators, and managers. Brian Searle here, founder and CEO of Insider Perks. Really excited to be connecting with you guys daily in this one-on-one -on -one video format, doing our best to provide some practical tips, tricks, marketing advice, things that you can use to help increase your revenue, increase your camper nights, and just overall be more successful. So what I want to start today is a series on RV park marketing. And I want to talk very briefly and at a very basic level uh, about a variety of different topics that I feel like you guys know are important, but you maybe don't know how to get started doing them. I have attended so many conferences, so many shows, so many expos. I talk to so many of you on a daily basis, working with over 125, 150 parks on a regular basis for a variety of different services, that I feel like I have a good pulse of what the issues really are. And obviously there's going to be exceptions to these rules. Nobody can be aggregated into one single group. A lot of you are more knowledgeable and have done more research and have been able to figure it out more so than others. And so maybe this basic video series doesn't apply to you so much, but maybe I will say one thing in here that you can take away as a piece of advice that you can add to your existing marketing plan. So don't turn it off so quickly. But here's what I want to start with, social media in general. I have been to so many shows, so many expos, so many conventions where they have a so-called marketing expert talking who has no expertise in the campground industry, who doesn't understand it, let alone understand small business owners and how you're stretched and pulled in 2,000 different directions every single day and just going out and taking a bunch of pictures and creating content is not something that's easy to find the time to do. And so I really feel like some of these talks are too advanced. They're talking about hashtags and geotargeting and all kinds of things that are great tips to be clear, but you need to make sure that you're laying the foundation for the house before you're building the house. So we talked a little bit about your audience, figuring out who they are and what networks they're on, but I want to scrap all that for a second. What I really want to focus on is getting you guys to understand how you can create content, how you can post that, and that's it. And I think that the base level for that should be Facebook because that's the most visible platform out there. And then once you've learned how to do those basics, you can take it onto another platform. So for now, I'm gonna tell you to ignore my own advice and not pay attention to your audience. So go to your Facebook page, you've got one, even if you don't manage it, it's out there and you can claim it or you can create one if it is a rarity that you don't have one. And you can begin the process of trying to just create basic content. And it sounds like a difficult task. It sounds like, well, how in the world am I going to create content that people find useful or that people want to see or they find value in when there's so much of it on the internet? When I can go out there and I can watch music videos or tutorials that are professionally produced or, you know, all the TV shows and, and content on Netflix, why are they going to pay attention to me? And the answer is, is that you just need to provide value to them. You've got a built-in audience of people, maybe not at your park, but at all parks across the United States, Canada, and really the world, who are interested in something very special and very unique with campgrounds, and that is the outdoors. They love staying there. They love being in a tent. They love being in an RV. They love being in their Airstream. They love staying in a cabin. Uh, whatever it may be, they love it. They love hiking. They love nature. They love bird watching. They love trees. They love all kinds of different things, seeing the stars at night. And these are all things that you can give them as campground owners every single day because a lot of you live on your parks. A lot of you are there 24-7, and you can share this experience with them in a way that they'll never get to see. Yeah, maybe they come and camp with you one day, or maybe they come and camp with you one week, or they stay an entire summer, but there's no way they're going to get the picture that you provide. Maybe you're a campground in Michigan, and you live there all year round. Is there ever a situation where a camper is going to get to experience and see the park under six feet of snow after a northern Michigan blizzard? Of course not. But they can identify with that and you can tell your story. And so it really isn't as hard to create content as you might imagine because you do have an interesting life. You may not think you do, just like I don't necessarily think I have an interesting life because I live it every single day. I'm doing the same thing over and over again every single day. It's like moving to a different area of the country. 
a few years ago, we lived down near Orlando, and about an hour away in Daytona. And we thought when we moved down there, man, we were going to go to Disney World all the time. We were nine miles from the beach. We were going to hit up the beach every single day. And once you get down there and once you live and once you get used to it, it's like, oh, Disney World's there. Or, oh, the beach is there. And it just becomes a thing. Like we live in Cleveland now and the Rock Hall's there and it's, oh, it's, it's a thing. But when people come from out of town, it's new, it's different, it's exciting. Everybody wants to go to Disney World. Everybody wants to go to the beach. Everybody wants to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And in the instance of your campground, there are really so many unknowns. They don't understand the struggles that you face, the things that you go through, all the different items on your plate from digging trenches to ordering cabins to whatever it may be. And it's not like you have to sit down and plan this. You don't have to storyboard it. You don't have to make it perfect because ultimately what's really going to bring people in is honesty, authenticity, unedited, bad video. It goes against everything that marketing has told you that you need to do in an age of social media where people are really just craving authenticity because everywhere you look, it's all fake. Everybody has this perfect life on social media. But if you can figure out how to tell your story and open yourself up and allow people to see some of your struggles, of course you have to maintain your privacy. But if you can allow them to see some of your struggles... Maybe when you wheel that cabin and it took you two hours to get it perfectly lined up on that site and then situated down, or you had to rotate it around because the sewer hookups were on the incorrect side, just take 30 seconds and put a camera in your face and say, hey, this is Jim, owner of the whatever KOA campground in whatever Virginia, and I just wanted to let you know that we are in the process of putting in this brand new awesome cabin that you can see behind me. You're going to be able to make reservations next year in it, and I hope you're the first person to stay in it, but I really want to let you know, today we are struggling with it. We've had to flip this thing around 10 times. You can see the guy behind me and the bulldozer over my head. Just really a struggle, but we're going to get this thing right. We're going to nail it down. I'm not going to give up. And next year, we're going to have a ton of families having an awesome time in this cabin. Hope to see you there. And that's it. I understand that sounds complicated and it sounds difficult and it's easy for me because I'm talking on video all the time. But it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be framed well. You can say, um, uh, uh. You can stutter and stumble and be authentic and be real. And you can create this kind of content that people will love. And it will take time to build an audience. It's not like you're going to put something out there and it's going to go viral. Don't listen to those people either. You have to be in it for the long game. You have to be in it with patience. You have to understand that these things take time. But if you get into a groove of creating content, if you get into a situation where you walk out the front of your door to go escort somebody to a site and there's a vintage Airstream trailer sitting across there and you just whip out your phone and in five seconds take a picture, put it back in, escort the person to the site, do seven more check-ins and then when it's slow, pull your phone back out again and upload it to social media, you can knock this stuff out. You'll get really good at it. It'll take you two minutes. And then all of a sudden you're creating content, you bring in your staff and you tell them to create content. And then you have this really well-oiled machine going where people are following you for something that provides value, not something that says, buy my site, buy my site, buy my site. Something that says, I'm a campground, I have this huge experience here. Because even though you're just telling your story, you're telling a story of the outdoors. I have this experience here that you can come and enjoy and you can be a part of my story. And that's a really powerful thing. So once you figure that out, once you figure out how to tell that story, you will have so many different pieces of content, you won't know what to do with it. And that's how you start on social media is just by telling your story. Back to the basics, that's it. You don't need an agency. I mean, I'd love for you to Hire our agency, of course, but you don't really need us to do that. We can't do it because we're not there 365 days like you. We can teach you how to optimize it and do the fancy things later. We can boost those posts and get you a wider audience, but the basic fundamentals have to be done by you. It's your story. It's not ours. So hopefully I've given you some cool ideas here to start with the basics of social media and content creation. Just start on Facebook. Just think about the, the base kind of stories you can tell. And then you can expand it slowly from there into whatever you want. 
and whatever you make of it. So if you have suggestions, topics, ideas, things that you'd like to cover, please feel free to reach out to me. Let me know. Brian at insiderperks.com. More than happy to participate in a discussion with you and talk about exactly what you want to learn, what you want to see, answer your questions. But until then, we will see you tomorrow.